Hey, what's going on, everybody? So today in Walking with the Williams, my wife wanted me to do a video about how I get ready um, and prepare my beard. Now, a lot of y'all don't know this, but I take my beard stuff very, very seriously. I am not an expert. OK, I have just tried a lot of stuff over the years and this what has worked for me so far. OK, so I do have a routine and I'll go ahead and let you know uh, what that routine is. Now, <clears throat> most of y'all may be asking what the heck kind of do rag do this man got on his head? OK, first off is a male bonnet. OK, get it right. OK, and it's called a woofing do rag, okay? I'm trying to let my hair get long on the top because I feel like I'm starting to bald, right? So I, I got to get my hair longer at the top, but I want that good wave game. Don't worry about it. So we're talking about my beard, okay? First off, step number one you got to use this. What is this? Rose petals, rose water, okay? Got that on Amazon. You can get it on Amazon. Look it up. I don't know what it does. It has, I can tell you exactly what it has in it. Purified water and hydro essential rose. Okay. And you know, it only has one rose in here. It's weird. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah. So I use that. My wife been using it on her locks. Uh, I noticed that when I do not use it, 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 my, my, my beard gets stale. It look, it started looking crazy. So, and it started feeling kind of brittle. So I keep, we keep us some rose water. Uh, it's one of these little spray bottles that we kind of keep our rose water in. So I go like this. You know, I get it damp. You never want to comb through a dry beard. That's how you start pulling hairs out. All right. So you don't have to soak it, but you want to get it in there. All right. So I go ahead, I fluff it out with my fingers, get the good fluff. All right. All right. So then after that, what I will do is Shea Butter Moisture uh, Full Beard Detangler. Okay. This is going to be for my brothers who have a longer beard. Okay. Uh, our, our, the hair on our beards curl strong, right? And so m most of the time, white people hair, their beard hair is going to be straight. So, you know, they don't really have a hard time really combing through their beard a whole lot. Um, and, and it's, and it's a little different. It, it you know, it, the way that they treat their hair is a little different. So I would suggest using full beard detangler. If you are having a hard time, like combing your beard in the morning, I I normally do, um, and I I don't really like not having this. Right, this is something that I travel with. Um, and I apply it like this, kind of rubbing it up in my hands. I do fingertips first, like this, and I kind of get in there in the bottom. All right, get my fingers through there. And then I rub them together, lather it up to mouth, and get that top. Get that top part. And rub it on there. And again, you want to work your fingers from the inside out. And as you're doing it, you can actually start to feel your beard getting a little softer. Um, but you really, I, I would suggest if it's your first time using it, give it a couple days with the rose water and the beard detangler and you will see you will see your your beard is going to start changing like in its dna you, you just got to do it tell me um put a little bit in there okay so after i put the beard detangler in there then i will use oil now this is a beard product that i have been using for quite some time um, and it has served me well. You can also get this on Amazon. Um, it is called Boss Man. Okay. Boss Man has a beard line that is amazing. We will go ahead and put the links for all of these beard products down below um, in the description. But I wanted to like let y'all know this right here 
this, this has changed my life. They have a whole beard line. I actually got a re-up on my beard bomb, okay? Um, I normally will order like the whole kit. The whole kit is around 30 bucks. And I think with taxes here, it's like $32. But it comes with the beard oil. It comes with the beard balm. And it comes with the conditioner, okay? Um, the beard conditioner that you use when you're like washing your beard, um, which is great. Um, and and it's I really did see a change in the way that my beard grows. Like it grew, it grew a lot faster when I started using these products. Um, and it, they seem to have very great ingredients. Like this oil has shea butter, avocado oil, cocoa seed butter, soybean uh, oil, beeswax, castor seed oil, sunflower seed oil, uh, and then some other little stuff. But they have all different types of scents and things like that. So, and one thing I love about this is the way that they design the bottle, right? So you have this little nozzle at the top, which a lot of times I do have another oil here by Everyman Jack, which which is, I've been using it for probably about a, a month now. It's pretty good. Uh, but normally you see that, how it like has a little nozzle. And so normally you would spray that in your hand and rub it on your hands and then run it through just like I ran all the other products through. One thing I love about this is, that's just so I can get the, the, the jelly substance to the top. You can just spray, do like that, right? And so I can make sure that I'm getting in there to the skin, boom, right? Then, like all the other products, I just rub it in, rub, rub my fingers through there. And you don't need a whole lot. This stuff spreads, right? This stuff will spread really, really well. So you don't need a whole lot. Just what I normally do here, 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 and I just rub it through. Because one thing that I noticed is that I, when I first got it, I didn't know. And I mean, I was walking around and it just looked like, man, I mean, my beard was just glistening. And you know, when you over oil stuff, your, your shirts kind of get ruined, right? Like I have dress shirts that thank God my beard is long because uh, it, it kind of hides those little oil spots on my shirt. But there's, there's shirts where I've gotten like oil all on the collar and stuff like that. So I try not to put too much oil in it, um, you know, but I do want to make sure that it's hydrated. So after that, then what I do is depending on, depending on how you know how your hair is on your face, you can either use a beard butter or you can use a beard balm. Right now I am using Ben Sermon beard balm, um, this right here. Now, my mother-in-law got this for me for Christmas, so I'm just kind of trying it out and seeing. But normally, I will use the Boss Man, which I'm actually going to probably order some more uh, beard products from them today. Uh, just because I just ran out. So, I've been using this. And so, um, so yeah. So, this has actually been pretty good. I, man, it, it, Boss Man just puts things at such a high standard, man. It's... It's really hard to go against them, but I mean, this is really, really good. Um, it's more like a, yeah, it's like a butter, right? It's like a butter soft bomb. So you just spread it on your hands like this. It's like everything else. Put your beard bum in there. Some people like beard butters. I'm not a big fan of beard butters. I do have one, but um, I don't know. It just don't, it, I feel like beard bombs do it for me you know i feel like um yeah i feel like uh the ball smearing products though they give you they when you put the bomb on they do very good like control as far as like beard control like when those wild hairs start coming out it really really gives you that look of like everything is like put together Right, it doesn't give you all of those wild ends out there. And people who have used a lot of beer products understand that, like, some of them they don't hold all the the wild ends in, 
And so that's why I like using a beer bomb versus the beer butter. Or you can use both. You know, some people use both. So, all right. Now, once I got all my products in there, I will then go ahead and take my comb. This, I use this comb. I normally will recommend a wide tooth comb. Some people will use a comb like this or they'll use a pick, right? I like to use this comb. This is actually a comb for weave. Um, yeah, I stole this from my mom. So if you're watching this, if you're wondering where your weave comb went, here it is. Um, but I like to use a wide tooth comb because as your beard gets longer, you don't want to use those small tooth combs because again, it'll start pulling the hair of, of out of your face and things like that and you do not want to do that okay all right so let's go ahead and get started so when i'm combing my beard i i do not just just pull and just yank and just do i like to work kind of work through but the beard detangler should make it easier for you to comb so for example i go like this because i don't want to i don't want to you know pull hair out and things like that then I hold it and then I just keep working my way through, you know, just keep working my way through. And so I do it again. See how easy that is to comb through? And it's that beard detangler, you know? So, and yeah, you're gonna get some snags and things like that. But then you do it like that, pull it down a little bit, grab it, do it like that. Go, pull it. Just kind of pick. You know, grab as much as I can and kind of go through it. All right. Now this bottom part gets a little tricky because you want to make sure that you're getting underneath your beard. And so I normally will, it ain't really, it ain't really an easy way to do that under beard part, right? So you got to just kind of go at it. I normally have to take my hand and go like this and kind of, you know, hold it just like I did the top. So just don't want it to. When it gets easier, then you can just pick it. And then you can just comb through like that. Okay. So that's really how I prepare my beard every morning. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Tell me how your beard game is going. Calm it. You know, try different products and just figure out what works for you. And I calm it out. A lot of people don't know this. You want to get your, if you want everything to try to connect, you know, it's better for you to grow out your mustache and let the edge of your mustache, um, let the edge of your mustache kind of grow out some so you can comb that on back. So normally I'll comb it down, comb to the top. Comb to the top. Come to the side. And I form it the way I want. And voila. Thank y'all so much for tuning in and watching my beard routine. I hope that this helps somebody uh, in the beard community. If it didn't, oh well, y'all got it. All right, peace.